recorded. Well, hello and welcome to the Woodlane Weekly for February 10th, 2021. Uh, joined today by Mr. Dennis Miller. Dennis, how are you? I'm doing good, Brian. All right, so hey, we've got all kinds of fun things to talk about today. Uh, but you you brought a topic to me that you would like to talk about and you would like to share with everyone out there on uh, the importance of building a relationship with your service and support administrator, an SSA. So uh, tell us what's important about building those relationships. Okay, you gotta call them and see how they're doing and tell them how you're doing and stop. You know, Dennis, you always have such great insights. So relationships yeah. are a two-way street, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, you're recommending everybody that they reach out to their SSAs and uh, engage them in conversation and yeah. uh, should ask as many questions as you're being asked, correct? Yeah. All right. Uh, and uh, SSAs have an important role in our lives, don't they? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Uh, but that's where that relationship comes in. Yep. Yeah. All right, so your recommendation is you're telling everybody out there to take time out of their day to give their SSA a call uh, and ask them how their day is going. Yep. All right. Uh, as always, great insight by the one and only Dennis Miller. Uh, but Dennis, <laughs> uh, uh, what a beautiful laugh. Uh, hey, so, you know, uh, thinking about it, you know, last week I announced that I was uh, pretty excited that uh, we finally had our first real winter storm of the year uh, all the way in February. Uh, since then, we've already had our second winter storm, and I'm now over it, and I'm ready for spring. Uh, I'm ready for the warm weather. Uh, but hey, Dennis, uh, you are also uh, a member of People First of Wood County. Uh, you're obviously wearing uh, the People First of Wood County shirt today. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what are you guys working on over there in that uh, in that group? You stand up for yourself. Talk about how you stand up for yourself and stuff like that. Right. So believing in yourself and standing up yeah. for yourself. And, Sometimes having conversations with others where you might have to state how you feel about something, even when everybody doesn't agree, correct? Right. Okay, so do you guys kind of practice those conversations or? Yes, we do. All right. Uh, so what if people would be interested in learning how to stand up for themselves or joining people first? How can they join? Yeah, I get a hold of Jacob or Terry or Emily Donna Payne. Okay, so they can call Jacob Muller Schoen, Terry Robinson, or Emily Donapace, and they will uh, get them organized. And and you guys currently meet on the second and fourth Tuesdays of every month at four o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we also get to announce that as of uh, as of this past Monday, right, uh, we now are able to uh, begin holding some level of in-person meetings as long as the groups are small. Yeah. And so uh, we. Uh, so as we're talking about that, we get to announce. Uh, so what we've done here at the Wood County Board of Development on Disabilities, we did update our guidance for the size of groups and group meetings. Uh, and we're adjusting to the uh, guidance that was provided by the Ohio Department of Health for Adult Day Services, in which they expanded the group size from being limited to 10 total uh, participants to uh, being a group up to 12 uh, along with support staff. So uh, we are utilizing that same guidance to adjust uh, for our groups, whether it's People First of Wood County, Action Club, Venturing Crew, uh, Recreation Events. Uh, we're allowed to be a little bit larger than we were just, uh, just a short week ago. So uh, looking forward to increased in-person attendance, uh, you know, still with some parameters. Uh, we still have to follow things like wearing our mask and uh, social distancing guiding, guidelines. But uh, so I hear you're playing basketball and you guys are wearing masks while you're running up and down the court. Yep, that's right. We are, Brian. Hey, that's helping you build lung capacity, Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but while we're here, we do also want to announce for everybody that uh, we do have uh, a couple of quick announcements. Uh, we have the Connect with Kim show, which it will be on tonight. Uh, and Dennis, it, uh, it's with the one and only Laura Peterson. So any shout outs to Laura while we're here? Oh, no, I look pretty every day. I miss her. Yeah, uh, and Laura, Laura has been with us for several years and she's going to share her knowledge on the Connect with Kim show. And then also uh, coming up in the very near future, we have all of our recreation events. Uh, everything from Recycling 101 to uh, 
uh, Valentine's Bingo on Friday the 12th, uh, and then, uh, you know, the uh, very uh, popular youth event for uh, Dusty Boots horseback riding coming up on Saturday the 13th. So uh, everyone is looking forward to uh, all of the upcoming events, and really we're hoping to have some positive changes uh, with the group sizes as we adjust to the Ohio Department of Health's recent guides for adult day services. Uh, and then, Dennis, uh, that leads us to you. Uh, do you have any final words today? I've been working during the week and on the weekend. I went last weekend, I get this week off. Every other weekend I work. I know, I heard you've been working like uh, six, seven day weeks these. Yeah. Uh, yes, I have, yeah. Hats off to you. Uh, and it's nice to have a job where they need you so desperately as well. Yeah, yes it is. All right, well, congratulations to you and really all of your uh, coworkers that are spending so much time uh, getting all the work in. Uh, and uh, listen, I, I think your guidance that uh, building a relationship with your SSA is a two-way street, uh, that, is, uh, that is some wise guidance and I, I'm impressed with that. Uh, Dennis, I wanna thank you for joining. Uh, I want you have a great week and to everybody else, we will see you soon. Take care.